Hi, welcome to a, a brief Lemon Amiga overview of how to install a hard drive on your Amiga. This is uh, WinUAE, the ultimate Amiga emulator on the PC. And as you can see, I've already set the machine up with uh, a nice fast configuration. And uh, the first thing you'll need to install um, a hard drive through WinUAE is a program called Fast File System, which is available on uh, the original Amiga Workbench disk. Uh, I'm using a copy, uh, a boot disk for this uh, install, but hopefully you'll get the idea. If you go to uh, Show All Files through Workbench, you'll find a, a directory on the original Amiga disk called L, and in there you'll find a file called Fast File System. Uh, this is essential for what we'll need later on. So I'll copy this over to your existing PC hard drive in a nice safe place, somewhere you'll remember later on. And once we have this file, we can go ahead uh, and start configuring the uh, the install. Uh, as you can see, I have a, a simple file manager on this disk as well. Uh, I can copy the fast file system to the PC hard drive using this software. Uh, and once we have that file, we can go ahead and add a hard drive, uh, clicking add a hard file through WinUAE. And we'll just make a, a simple 4 meg uh, hard drive for this example. Click on create and uh, give it a, a, a file name, which we'll retrieve later on. And then through WinUAE, it's time to select that hard drive and install it into the software and then we'll need to select a file system selecting the fast file system file that we uh, we've just previously moved from the workbench disk wherever you installed that file uh, onto the PC and finally we need to give it a drive label DHO making sure enabled RGB mode is not selected for this uh, example and also ensuring that the disk, the workbench disk, is also in the drive at the same time. When you uh, load Workbench again, the uh, hard drive that we've just created will appear as NDOS, which means it isn't formatted. So we can then go ahead and format that disk and uh, give it a simple uh, disk label and format that drive and it will be quite a fast format because it's only a sample 4 meg partition and that will appear after a format and you can use that like any other Amiga drive uh, the first thing to do is install Workbench on on the drive if you have the original Workbench discs uh, as I'm using a boot disk I'm, uh, I'm going to select those files and drag those files onto my new hard drive instead uh, if you select all files, uh, hold down the shift uh, key and drag the whole bunch across, you will uh, eventually have uh, all the files on the hard drive. Alternatively, if you have a, a disk manager like I have, you can uh, copy the files across that way. But once the, the workbench is installed on your new hard drive, it's time to remove the original workbench disk keep the uh, keep the Amiga hard drive in the installation and your Amiga will boot from your newly installed disk. The only issue with that is looking through HD Toolbox it doesn't appear uh, uh, through the Amiga uh, system. Uh, that's uh, a limitation of the uh, WinUAE hard drive. So let's have a look at the second method, a method which does recognize the hard drive in the system. Uh, pretty similar to the uh, one previously. We'll add a, a 4 meg uh, hard drive on our PC and uh, label that uh, test HD2 for this example. And that will appear on your hard drive. Then it's a simple matter of linking that file through WinUAE so that it recognizes it. Again, load the file system which we uh, copied earlier from the uh, the workbench disk, uh, the fast file system wherever you've copied that disk, and give it the disk device label DHO. And this time we want to make sure enable RGB is enabled 
and that will uh, make the uh, the Amiga recognize the uh, the drive as a, an authentic Amiga drive. Again, insert the workbench disk into the machine uh, because nothing will happen in, uh, unless you install workbench and uh, reset the machine. This time when you install uh, the workbench disk into the drive you'll find that the HD is not uh, present uh, immediately through workbench. Uh, so for this we'll need uh, um, a management software such as HD install tools or HD toolbox. We can read the configuration in uh, to the software now successfully thanks to the enable RGB mode and uh, select that and we can then go ahead and partition that drive uh, as you can see uh, the software has already partitioned the device and uh, the active partition is in black which means uh, that section is in use the uh, the gray section is in use that's uh, a file buffer at the beginning of the hard drive and we can also give that hard drive a file system um, standard file system if you don't uh, select any of those um, options or uh, for this example uh, we will choose fast file system with a, a simple option on the, uh, on the on the file system menu select that and the file system option as you can see changes to fast file system making sure of course that uh, the drive is also bootable uh, which is also an essential ingredient click OK to that and save the changes to that drive and that will change the hardware information and save that to the hard drive's rigid disk block. Uh, still the hard drive doesn't appear through Workbench so we'll need to reset Workbench and load up the uh, Workbench disk again um, and this time after we've uh, initiated it through um, the hard drive install tools it'll appear again no DOS just like it did before and we can go ahead and format that drive uh, exactly the same as how we did it before, this time leaving fast file system checked so that it formats the drivers as fast file system and after that the uh, the hard drive will appear blank again uh, but that's your new hard drive uh, go into workbench again and let's check it out, it, it appears through uh, HD toolbox uh, the partition and everything else is set up uh, no problem and uh, we can go ahead and, and, and install Workbench onto that uh, drive or as I'm doing simply copy the uh, uh, a bootable Workbench disk onto that drive from whatever source you have available and as soon as you've copied those uh, files across uh, we made the hard drive bootable earlier on through HD Toolbox so as soon as those uh, files have been copied across we can then um, go back into uh, WinUAE or simply eject the uh, workbench disk and there you go, the files are on there we'll now eject the workbench disk and it should, uh, given a reset that that newly partitioned, newly installed workbench should now load just like that and the workbench that we've just installed should be on there uh, the advantage of course of this system is that it's recognized through all the uh, uh, built-in Amiga um, hardware tools uh, including HD Toolbox and HD Install Tools and um, this is uh, HD Install Tools, it's pretty similar to HD Toolbox, you can format the partition it's saying that the uh, partition there is in blue which uh, which shows you that the all the available space has been partitioned and uh, used up. You can resize that uh, if it was anything bigger than a four meg partition, and um, you can uh, use that pretty similar to HD install tools, uh, HD toolbox, slightly uh, slightly more professional. Making sure, of course, that it's bootable and it's also mounted, and uh, we'll just change the drive uh, signature there to DHO and uh, use that, save the changes and because we've already partitioned that uh, workbench it's not going to uh, make any difference but that's how you uh, partition a, a disk through WinUAE or in fact any other hard drive that you've installed on your Amiga through uh, HD Toolbox. Thanks for watching.